Excuse me, you wouldn't mind taking a piece of my woman, would you? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> British people. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking twat. Fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking polite pricks. Uh, wait a minute. Oh. I think we just shit on ourselves. <laughs> Korean family just would not stop screaming. The police were called. They had to run out of there and to break through their other screen door to get out out the back door and they jumped over the fence. And there's a family having a barbecue. And I fell straight into the barbecue and ruined the entire meal. There was coal and embers everywhere. So it was that. Jesus. It's aggressive. It wasn't aggressive, it was just unfortunate. Unfortunate, right, yeah. That is a whole whole unfortunate series of events, you know. Sorry, have we started recording already? Oh, we have. We're here. We're here, we're on. Welcome to Pillow Talk with... (laughs) (laughs) With Flynn and Buzzsaw. Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk, here we are with our pillows. That would be a good name for the podcast. It is. Pillow Talk, the new segment. Pillow Talk. Have to talk with nice, luscious voices. Oh, sorry, I wasn't doing that. We have to talk with her. Welcome yeah, to Pillow talk. talk. Welcome to Pillow Talk. Flynn and Buzzsaw. I'm on Buzzsaw. the BNTW. I'm this Flynn. I'm Flynn and you're Buzzsaw. I'm Buzzsaw. We're here with the big O. And here we are for Pillow Talk. Pillow Week Talk. 453. If you're still alive, we welcome you to the pillow. Come on in. Experience ultimate softness. It's made of memory foam, so it remembers your head, so you're always welcome back. It bounces back into shape. Always. Great lumbar support. Join Simba. Simba? Simba's a brand. I knew her. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to session 33, everybody. 33. 33. 33. I don't know if you can read feeling it. Feeling free. Oracle, feeling free, nice. I know. We had to write it on. Oracle wrote it on. Can you even see that on the camera? You get the, the big three? The big three. Big, we can't afford two numbers. No, we're, the budget doesn't stretch to uh, for, for duplicates of numbers, so you're getting drawn on ones. No, we can't even afford um, a pen, really. No. There wasn't much ink in that one. There wasn't much ink in the pen. Um, the budget disappeared after Oracle decided she wanted payment. In fact, we had to write it in one of those um, whiteboard markers so we can rub it out for the next time that we have a Smart, double number. Smart, did use a Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's how we budget. do it. That's how we do it. That's how we do. And it gets Boys. into the double number, uh, no, number uh, separate sessions, uh, you know, it uh, turns into a whole, uh, what do you have you? Oh, yeah, you got you know, work when that happens. You got to work. Things happen. And got to work. And, and, um, well, how are you doing? Um, S-Dub-Dub, wrestling. S-Dub-Dub, this Sunday in Bristol, the Trinity Center, we are going to be there. Oh, or yeah. be square. Sunday, the 26th. This Sunday, the boys are rolling on in. To the Trinity Center in Bristol. Rolling on up. Rolling, rolling like a couple of boys. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? To the Trinity Center. This Sunday, Bristol, the boys going to take on the house and yeah. Dinger and, and Big, Big Jim. Jim Diehard. So, Diehard. Diehard. I already knew it. Diehard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we are, we've got a, we've got we've got our hands full this weekend. It's an exciting match, right? It is an exciting overbooked. match. Overbooked. It's very chaotic. Overbooked. So many people in this so match. So many people. Like we don't even have any beef with Dinger and uh and Big Jim. No, I love like, them we've actually. We've got no beef. Good mates. Do you know what I mean? We're actually good mates of them. I um, like those fellas. Like them a lot. Yeah. I like them a lot. I like them oh, a lot. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. <laughs> Pillow's really in the way. Yeah, I don't I think it's quite comfy. You like it? I feel kind of pregnant. You feel pregnant? You look pregnant. You go out. A big lunch. You know, you're having quadruplets. No, I'm done. 
No, I'm done. It's going to be so I'm done when they come out. <laughs> fucking split from a V to my A. Jesus Christ, it'll look like a wizard sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking windsock on a fucking runway. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so, we uh, we've got we've got our hands full. We've got the house. We want to beat the shit out of the house. So oh, poor as house. do as do Dinger and Big Jim. They've got issues with them they too. They don't like house either. They don't like them either. So this um, Sunday, Bristol Trinity Centre. You can get your tickets at sdub.co.uk. Southwestwrestling.co.uk. I thought they were changing it to sdub.dub. Well, the Southwest Wrestling on the website. Well, why have they done that? I don't know. It was made before the change. The change. Before it had the turn. Before the pandy. Before the pandy. Back in the day. Back in the day. Before S Dub Dub was in the S-Dub Dub. Back when it was S W Southwest Wrestling. But now it's going global. Now it's going global. So it can't just be Southwest Wrestling anymore. No. Now it's South World Wrestling. South World Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know England was in the South World. We're the South of everything. I guess. Depends on how you look at the globe. It does. I was just going to say, right? (laughs) Because a globe in space can be anywhere. Exactly. Space doesn't have like, oh, up and down. Our space station is fucking like horizontal. I haven't been to the space station. No? Have you? I always go to the space station every every, every couple of days. What's it like? Have they got vending machines? Vending machines. They've got lots of root beer. Do they have free Wi-Fi? They don't. No, you have to pay for it. What's the fuck? Do you know what it is? It's fucking BT hotspot. BT hotspot. That's the worst. Not even with BT. Talk, talk. Fucking BT. Don't get any hotspots. No hotspots. No hotspots. No hotspots. No hotspots. It's bro. good though. Keeps you cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> no hotspots. <laughs> bad joke. <laughs> the fucking rotter of a joke. Um, should, I'd like welcome. to apologise. <laughs> You'd like to apologise for the fucking atrocity <laughs> the that just joke. took place. <laughs> like a war crime. It was like a war crime. There's gonna be war crimes this Sunday. There's gonna be war crimes in this Bristol, Sunday. the Trinity oh. Centre. <laughs> gonna fucking ruin them. I don't know why we're, we're telling people. But we're going to, yeah, uh, well, this Sunday, you can still book tickets when you watch this um, for our one viewer that watches on a, when it goes live. Oh, and then we had, for we had our, three in one, at one time at one point. Did we have three at one three time? Three at one point, but it was only for like a minute and then they turned it straight off. Straight off. It's like, nah, it's a shit. Nah, none of this. Last week, well, I thought was one of our best ones. One of the best episodes. That's views. Big O. Big O hit it hard with the editing. Killing um, it with the editorials. Censoring all my bits and bobs and Carney, you haven't got a microphone. Said Still. thanks, guys. Said thanks, guys. So is it, this is a, this is a, a, a spot on impression of Oracle. Right, wait for this. You ready? Thanks, guys. Spot on. Thank you. Spot on. Spot on. Spot on. Nailed it. If you've not heard Oracle's voice, is exactly how she exactly sounds. Exactly how she sounds. Thanks, guys. I do the editing for uh, the NTW podcast. A Family Guy character. Maybe. Family Guy. From Family Guy. From Family Guy. It's Welcome me. to Family From Guy. Family it's a Friday guy. night. Family Guy's on. Oh, God. Family Guy. Huh. Oh, God. You sound like a South Park hey. character. Oh, I do? <laughs> I'm lusciously sorry. I'm lusciously sorry. <laughs> oh, the best thing ever. Have you been watching more South Park? I have watched a little bit. Um, <laughs> I watched one episode. There was like, it was Cartman went to jail for, um, what was it he did? It was, uh, a, it was a hate crime. A hate crime. A, makes hate, sense. a very like it wasn't even a hate crime, <laughs> but he got sent to like juvie for a hate crime, and then like he broke it out, and then or got as you know as he was breaking out got like pardoned, <laughs> and then they're, like doing this like sledge race against these girls, <laughs> they're like gaining on him. He's like, hold on, I'll sort it out, and grabs these like stilts and just lobs them at the girls. It just wraps around the one's neck and they go flying off a cliff. Brown bread? <laughs> and then one gets taken by a bear. A bear? A bear. That's what happens. That's how you get you. Don't move to South Park. Never move to South Park. SP. No, you'll be lusciously sorry. You will be lusciously sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't even remember that episode. That's like, this must be a long time I'm ago, right? I'm in season four. Oh, I think there's like I'm 25 early. seasons or there something. There are a lot of seasons. I haven't watched season four in 20 years. No, so it's going to be a while before I get... Anyway, near the newer stuff. You've got to catch up, man. I'm, I'm going as I go. No, just know. get through it. I'm watching about three different shows at once at the moment. Oh, yeah, whatever show um, you've got I'm going the, on. I'm on Breaking, I'm watching Breaking Bad, as the I Breaking said before. Bird. I'm on the very end of season four. So if you haven't seen it yet, shame on you. But shame spoiler on alert. You. Spoiler alert. Um, so Breaking Bad. Gus, Jesse, and Mike were just at a cartel's house in Mexico. Yeah, we had the cartel's house, man. So Gus is like, Bitter because obviously the cartel guy killed his best bud before killed my best friend before the chicken thing. <laughs> it sounds nothing like Gus. It sounds like the cartel guy. <laughs> Maybe that's what I was doing. Oh, Gus, I, I I couldn't do an impression of Gus. No, it's quite a unique accent. He's quite. Yeah, he's, uh, where's he from? Chile. Chile. 
Chilean. Chilean. Is that really how it's said? Yeah, I think so. Chilean. Sounds right. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure. We'll go with Chilean. Chilean is the people. Yep. Um, or Chileans. I'm Chilean right now. Oh, yeah. With my pillow. Old, old faithful. Old faithful, yeah. Always protect you. Absolutely caressing my, <laughs> my stomach. Hello, there's no explanation for why we've got pillows on our laps either. No, just pillows. There you are, then. Everybody to watch with. Oh, lucky you. So grab yourself a pillow, wrap it around your stomach, and guys, just enjoy the podcast. It's this, this fine Friday afternoon. And what was the other show you're watching? So, yeah, Breaking Bad. So, uh, Gus as well, just to go back. Oh, yeah, Gus. Gus, Gus uh, poisoned them all. What, with what? Uh, they sank in this, like, like, whiskey or tequila or whatever it was. Like, put some poison in it. He went and threw it out in the toilet. And then they all started passing out and dying. Very smart. And then Mike strangled, like, the, uh, the, hit, the, the bodyguard guy. Mike loves strangling people. Classic Mike. Classic Mike. <laughs> Any opportunity to strangle someone, he's, he's on, off it. on it. He's off on it. Um, so they, uh, they've just, well, the, what I saw last night, they was escaping the cartel house after they did the, jo- did the deed. Whoop, 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 so they were, like, whoop, 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 fucking Zoidberging out. Running there. away. Whoop, shuffling whoop, whoop, out sideways. Um, and I'm also watching The Office. Oh, yeah, the US or the, or the Brit? The, the US one. Oh, man, you got to get it on the British one. I've watched the British one, but it's not one I'd watch um, over and over and over again. I'll watch it it's again. It's just the US of it's so long, it never yeah. gets to the point. I, it does. I, no, I get like halfway through it, and I'm just like, I got to watch round up. They have a nice roundup so at the end. Um, it's just so I just long. finished so watching episodes. Pam and Jim's Wedding. I hate when shows make 24 episodes a season. It's a nightmare. I just I can't it's commit to that. It's such an easy that. watch, though. I can't commit to that. Such an easy watch. For you, perhaps. Um, just when you put on, you just chill out. You know, you have to always be fully paying attention all the time. You know, you just tune in and out. You know, just chillaxing, relaxing, maxing. Ain't too taxing. Ain't too taxing. Bow. And then I also I'm watching South Park. The Park of the South. Yeah. So I'm watching three different shows at this point. I don't know why, how, or why I've gotten onto so many different shows. And then I'm also watching weekly shows of Pork and Brown Bread and uh, American Horror Stories. You're a straight up lunatic. And what if? So, what if? Yeah, the Marvel series. That sounds good. So that's all uh, going on at the minute. I'm waiting for Curb, Curb Your Enthusiasm season 11. Oh, yeah? Absolutely jazzed for that, coming back. Bit of bit of LD. LD. Larry David. Lisa Daisy. That's why we start calling her it, um, LD. Yeah, call her LD. LD, the big O is LD. Big O LD. Big O LD, big old. <laughs> big old. <laughs> The big old, or we can call you elders, elder flower, <laughs> elder flower. <laughs> so the big old is the elder flower. She could be. She does look ancient. Ancient. Look, she's looking a bit green today. A bit green, very green. Look at that. I'm kind of ill. Bloody alien. <laughs> we watched um Sex Education. See, I tried watching the first season. Learned a I lot. Get, couldn't get into it. <laughs> you learned a lot. Finally, <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Oracle's there, like, thank fuck, he knows a bit. Man. Apparently, it Jesus goes in the Christ. hole. <laughs> <laughs> He's just been grazing my thigh for years. <laughs> yeah, that was. Um, There's only so many times a girl can fake an orgasm. <laughs> what? Girls can fake orgasms? You can fake it, man. Oh, Jesus. You can fake it. You can fake it. I can't fake it. <laughs> she's not saying a word as well. She's keeping stum. Yeah, she better keep stum. I feel like there's something she's not saying right now. What are you not saying, Big O? You want a microphone? On the microphone to to draw attention to Buzzsaw's lack of engagement, if you will. No lack. Yeah, no. that no lack. But it's very slack. No, it's not <laughs> slack. <laughs> Jesus. Let's move on from this. <laughs> this is a stupid conversation. Is it a stupid conversation? It sounds like it's a lot of truth coming out. And you're I don't think so. It. I don't like it. Um, Why do you keep looking to the side there? Let's, Look, just... Uh, let's just talk about <laughs> some... Um, Hey! <laughs> hey, man! Hey! Do you ever get on a bus? <laughs> <laughs> I got on a bus once. I got on a bus once. Um, listen, if you want to ride the bus, then you ride the bus, man. You ride the bus, you ride That's the fine. bus. I don't mind. You ride the bus. I, don't, I won't think any different of you. We got any more news on the uh, the BNTW raffle? We got any more ideas on the, when this is going to take, start taking place? Well, when we can afford it, because the, the whole thing of the raffle is you need to buy prizes. You need to buy prizes. You got any money for prizes? Student loan comes in on oh, Monday. Oh, which is earlier than I expected. Like a week, pro- a no, week I... more earlier than I expected. So it's very, very exciting news. Very exciting. 
Very they'll exciting. promote the raffle and then people will get raffle tickets and then we can send them like pot noodles and things. Oh my God, pot noodles. A bumper pack of pot noodles. B- B&M will get those. That's why I was thinking because there's a B&M down the road and I did give away uh, an SWW raffle once a bumper pack. A pot fucking noodle. That's a great <laughs> prize, I think. Fucking Bombay bad boy. Signed by the boys. Signed by the boys. You can have the packaging. We always be signed by us for no reason. I thought like a big jar of Bovril would be a good one. A big jar of Bovril. <laughs> People love Bovril. A big Sports Direct cup. A bit, yeah. They're always good. <laughs> a big Sports Direct cup. <laughs> Bovril. Pot noodle. There's going to be a lot of household items um, that you things. will not get the real joke of. Uh, you get it. But you should enjoy it. Well, some people might. Some people might it. not. We get um, it. That's the main thing. But, but you anyway, can be you in, get being on it. Lots of prizes. Lots of prizes. Lots of prizes. In the BNT Dub raffle coming soon. We've got to get the website up so we can sell tickets through the website. Oh, that's a smart move. Smart move. And also, we might be able to give away some t shirts and t-shirts, stuff as well. Goodie bags. Some goodie bags. Oh, BNT Dub goodie bags. Oh, that's, that's what we'll cool. start. Pencils. Look at a surprise box. A surprise box. Do you know what I was thinking we should do the other day? Thinking of boxes. Yeah. We should buy a mystery box. A mystery box. Because you know you get these mystery boxes on eBay. See? We buy a mystery box just to see what's in it. Okay. I feel like that'd be a fun... We could do the first ever BNT dub unboxing. Where should we get it from? From the Bay of E. But isn't there like places that do it legit? You I think get, you get like some cool stuff. This is, the thi- this is the thing. You buy it for me. This is the point of, of it being like entertaining because we don't know what the fuck it could be. What if it contains the coronavirus? The risk we take. For the pod. This sounds scary. <laughs> for the pod, man. This sounds scary. Well, we're not buying a fucking mystery box from the, like, the dark web. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You open it, it's just anthrax. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> big O developed syphilis. Big O got syphilis. Just, 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 <laughs> she's made just, a syphilis. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look at big O, you see how green she is? That is the later stages, kids, of syphilis. We learned that in sex ed. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I did see a kid actually do a, he bought one from the dark web and did an unboxing of it. What? Some suspicious stuff in there. Blood, yeah, what did he get? Got like, um, there was like an iPad, uh, it was a lot of stuff in there, but he was kind of like, should I even use it? The stuff is definitely stolen. Like, what, like, do you know what I mean? Like, what is on it? But then again, you never know, because just someone does ribbon, but then it was some weird, like, substance. It was like a, and apparently it smelt disgusting. Like when Ooh. he opened it up, they gave him like wet ones. He said, "You might want these." That's weird. And I think there was like um, I wouldn't uh, trust like this USB shit. and stuff like that in there with, or like a disc or something. It was, and it was like something weird on there and shit. That sounds crazy. He wants to get rid of that stuff. Do not keep that in your house. No, the yeah. FBI is looking for that right now. Burn that now. Get out of there. <laughs> get out. But I said, have you ever been on the dark web? Can we even? Can we, I haven't been on the dark you know, web. I've been on the dark web. I've never been on it. I, I, I used to have a little play when I was at uni, have a look, little look around the dark web. How do you even on get there. on the dark web? You've got to download a, a Tor browser. Okay. And then use the Tor browser to connect to the dark web. Yeah, I don't even want to go I on that. I haven't done it in years. Horrible, but I heard some horrible stuff that goes on on there. Well, I, I didn't Apparently look at any of the horrible like a, stuff. There's like a there. weird game on there or something like that. And like, there's people that watch... Um, like people, like you get to choose what happens to these people. Or something. I didn't look at really any of this like stuff. Sinister like that. I didn't do anything like that. Yeah, nothing as exciting as that. No, I don't. I, don't, I wouldn't even want to go on it. Well, no, I'm what, you have no read to go on it. It's, no, I have no reason to go on it. Like, what am I going to do on the dark web? Yeah, I was just intrigued. I was like, what's on this dark web? By a Shetland pony. There's um, yeah, there's just a lot of <laughs> drugs and guns, really. Is that literally it? Pretty much. Oh, okay, that's boring. Buy some drugs and guns. Just kind of like one of those I don't need either of those things. I quite like the thought of not knowing exactly what's on there or what it looks like or anything. It's kind of like not knowing what's in Area 51. Oh, what is in Area 51? Who knows? Aliens. Who knows? Aliens. Who knows? Oracle. Oracle is a part of the, the big run-in to storm Area 51. Yeah, she was on it. She was shot on sight. She was looking for her family. <laughs> <laughs> what, the Greeks? <laughs> <laughs> the Greek aliens. The Greek aliens. They, they come from the Isle of Greek alien. Yeah. <laughs> Greek alia. Is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it sounds all right. No, it sounds right. <laughs> it sounds right. I'm pretty sure I saw that Bond film. That Bond film. In Greek alia. Greek alia. Hey, boy, for the Greek alia, have some lamb. Oh, uh, lamb. Oh, yes. Funaki. <laughs> Funaki, 
Uh, but talking about Greek, yeah. Um, apparently, you went to a Greek restaurant. Is this right? That you How did, did you hear about this? You told me before we went on on, on we started recording. Oh, I thought you read it in the paper or something. No, no, no. Paparazzi no. are just following me Papa, around like crazy pa- lately. The paparazzo. There have to be. I can't move that paparazzi to hit, try to get my skirt. Move. Well, I can move, but you know what it's like. You know what it's like. Yeah, I went to a Greek restaurant. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Just sit my drink quickly. Yeah, it's a terrible time to sip your drink. Should have done it before you said Greek restaurant. Greek restaurant. Um, so I went to, we went to this Greek restaurant, and uh, um, what happened, Oracle? I can't remember. Just some lamb. I did have lamb. I had a mixed grill. <laughs> <laughs> I had a mixed grill. Yeah, I Put me on my fucking side, I'll clear the fucking kitchen. <laughs> I remember the food. I did eat a lot. I ate a lot of food. I ate a cheesy garlic bread pizza. We're talking sounding, a 12-incher. Sounding a t- <laughs> That's um, what she said. Stuffed it down. <laughs> And then so I got, she said. <laughs> I got a mixed grill, which came with like um, these Greek kind of chicken and beef burgers. Sounds very Greek. Um, no, they were. They were like minty. So, so far you've had like, an Italian No, no, no they weren't like actual bread. burgers. They weren't actual burgers. They were like a, a Greek. I don't know how to describe it. They're, they're, in a Greek. Greek. They're, in the, they're in the shape of the Greek island. They were a bit. They were a bit like a little island meat pieces. And they're yeah. minty because that makes them Greek. Everything's <laughs> minty in Greece. Have some mint. No, oh, have some mint with that. <laughs> And then some like chicken skewers, some like covered in mint, some pork skewers, <laughs> covered in mint, some like chicken kebab, and then so just a whole load of meats, it's a lot of meats, chips and rice as well. Ate all that stuff that down. I went, you want any desserts? And they were like, oh, don't know if we can manage desserts. I said, get the fucking desserts menu. Like. <laughs> and then we had a um, biscoffy cheesecake. The biscoffy. It just, from what I'm hearing, didn't sound very Greek. It was incredibly Greek because I tell you what happened, right? Um, so it was a very, it was a very English Greek mix in this place, and there was four birthdays happening. This is what happens when there's there a was, Greek restaurant in a British was, town. There was four birthdays happening. Four, 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 four birthdays happening. So like, we sit down. It's always, it's already the loudest restaurant I've ever been in. Oh, right, it's so loud. We're like having to shout at each other when we sat next to each other. You were shouting. We we're shouting. We're like, oh, we shouting. What do you want? What do you want for your mains? Are you having a good time? <laughs> That's how it was. They were so these people were so loud, and I'm not complaining. They're having a good time. It's their birthday, and they're yeah. Greek. They just they like being loud. I don't know what it is. I've never been to Greece. I've never been to a Greek restaurant. I don't know the culture, but I'm a the Greek. You know what I am? You know what I am? We I'm are. a chameleon. Ooh. Okay, and I just I absorb the Greek culture, and I just become a part of it, and they don't even realize that I'm like this tell you what, the Greeks, stuck up British get so person. So excited about a bit of lamb. And so, love That's why a bit they're of lamb. so loud. Love a bit of lamb. And so, mention, right. mention, mention lamb round Oracle. She's just like frothing at the mouth. She's like, oh. So we're in here, and then after, like, <laughs> as soon as we get in, the the owner of the place is is doing he's Greek. shots. He's Greek. He's doing shots. He's doing shots. He's, he's getting like, wasted. No, he's going around all the tables. They're all having birthdays. Four times we had to listen to Happy Birthday get sung. No, oh, God, in Greek. Um, they didn't sing it in Greek, but they sang it fucking loud. <laughs> <laughs> And everybody and, got a plate smashed over there. every time, end. every time afterwards, they started doing a Greek dance. <laughs> I'm not joking. They, get, they, they start lining up, they're like holding each other like this, and they yeah. go... <laughs> and like, it was, it was funny the first time. I'm like, this is kind of funny. Did they have those little Greek shoes on? I don't know what Greek shoes are. Do they look like the little red... Fo- is this right, Oracle? Do they look like the real, little red pom-poms on the, on the toes? Feel like you've you've read a book at one point. Where yeah, I'm pretty sure that. this is like a, this is like official Greek gimmicks. Like uniform. This is like Greek gimmick. I don't think that's a Greek like a Greek shoe. A Greek shoe. A Greek shoe. Is this a thing, Oracle? She traditional Oracle. Can you Google traditional Greek dancing outfit? And while she's trying to spell that, I, I'll continue <laughs> <with> the story. <laughs> Let's not watch Oracle uh, dyslexic it up on here. But then. But then Greek traditional dancing outfits. But then they all get they the, the owners start getting drunk, start plowing us for free shots. Oh, now we're getting drunk and we're just like, and then the whole restaurant is just dancing around. <laughs> Everyone's just left their meals. This Everyone's time. left. Everyone stood up and dancing like these guys <laughs> up here. Oracle, can you? There you go. Look at the, the Greek shoes. Where's the bloke? Yeah, they have got... They have, well, well, they're wearing red shoes with black pom-poms, so I've got it the wrong way around, Close. but thank you very much. Close. Close. Can you bring that up, Oracle? There you go. <laughs> yeah, so that's these people, right? This is what they're doing between... They say happy birthday. Well, the waiters all dressed like this. I really hope they were. They were dressed similar. They were, they were similar. We're in tutus. Similar. But, and then, like, 
four happy birthdays. Everybody's just wasted. And that, now they start smashing plates. <laughs> now they start smashing plates. She comes out. And the way she's saying to us, like, oh, we've, we've never... Everyone's always asking us to smash plates. We've never done it before. But we just got too pissed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> They start smashing all these plates and like they're having fun now. They're like, we've been waiting to fucking do this. The <laughs> customers are scared at this point. <laughs> oh, the customers were terrible. <laughs> they were going in between singing like they they'd be doing the Greek dancer and then they'd go, It's coming home. It's coming <laughs> home. It's car the football's coming home. And I'm like, What the fuck are you guys talking <laughs> this about? Months ago. <laughs> <laughs> right? This was last week they're singing this. <laughs> and I don't have a clue what they're talking about, they're having a good time. I'm on a whale and, of a time. Uh, we had we had some fun entertainment. I, I thought we were going out for a nice a nice meal, civilized meal. <laughs> it just turned into a Greek <laughs> it orgy. Came, it was almost a Greek orgy. <laughs> it was a nightmare, but also incredibly fun and fun to see some culture in the middle of Bristol. In the middle of Bristol, why do you always go to Bristol? Because I don't know, it's close by. So it's over there, yeah, but th- there are no Greek restaurants over there. You have got a Mexican one, no? Yeah, it's rubbish. Oh. Don't, don't, don't go there. Don't ever say that. Don't go there. I waited an hour and I waited an hour, hour and a half for my mate, food you, there. Don't, don't talk about it. I had like bloody that. hairs in it. Mate, I won't even talk about it. I sent it that. back. I said, "Fuck you, get me a fresh one." He bought that. I had hairs in it too. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even talk about it, man. I'll tell you what, the cartel. The cartel. Hey, man. Hey, gringo. You wanna? You want some hair in your food? You I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> they put too much hair in my food, man. They put too much hair in his mustache hair. Like one, one hair would be okay, but it's like mm. these dark black hairs as well, like thick, like a fucking, the bit of a brush. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's mustache hair. It, That's must- it was a That's mustache Like a hair. moy macho mustache hair. Moy macho mustache hair. Yes. Muchacho, you yeah, want some hair? Guy, man. I'm not eating amigos again. They're amigo. not my amigos. Mm. Not me amigo. Sorry? Have you ever been, been to a, a Greek I've been to a Greek restaurant in Greece. Yes, I have. I never Musa- told us this. I had Moussaka, hardly knew her. And um, oh, yeah, I pulled out all the aubergine. I didn't realize it came with aubergine. I fucking ate the stuff. Ours didn't come with aubergine. If it's a mince, it's a lasagna. And at that point, it's Italian. Moussaka is, Moussaka is uh, just a, a lasagna. It is? Yeah. Oracle, you didn't tell me this. Is it? It's got the same pasta sheets. It's in the same format. It's just got aubergine. Are you thinking of souvlaki? Nope. Are you thinking of? I'm thinking of moussaka. Are you thinking? You if, become, if it's mince, or aubergine. if you put mince in it, that instantly becomes a lasagna. And I, 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 will, I will argue any That's Greek good. man down. Why did you just get the lasagna? Well, I didn't have it on there. It was moussaka. I love a lasagna. I made I lasagna yesterday, it. and we had it today as well. Yeah, moussaka, it's the aubergine. I don't like the texture. I hate it. So that the Greeks. And courgettes. The Greeks. The Greeks. The Greeks. The Greeks. The Greeks. The Greeks. That's the end of that, then. Well, that's it. That's your, your story there. Yeah. yeah, if we go to a Russian restaurant, we can talk about Russia. Talk about all our culture. Um... You go to a Russian, Russian restaurant. The Russians, I tell you, and I tell you, Russia, you Russia, if you go to a Russian restaurant and that, you drop a plate in there and that'll take you outside and shoot you. And brown bread. <laughs> brown bread. Putin Fucking brown that. bread. <laughs> yeah, that's a Putin on the Ritz. They'll bring out a Ritz cracker with a picture of Vladimir Putin on the face. On the face. On the face of it. Face of him. His on... face on the face of the, of the Ritz cracker. That's a lot of faces. A lot of faces. Two faces. I'd Two's eat, up on faces. I'd eat that Putin cracker. Putin cracker. I'd scoff that Putin cracker down because I don't want to get assassinated. Exactly. If you leave anything, you fucking take it outside and shot. Brown bread. Not even that. They the just KGB. It in your coffee. The KBG. K, K, I can't Make it look like a heart attack. The, 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 the KGB. What is it? The KBG? The KGB. KGB. The KGB. 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 They are uh, ruthless bastards when it comes to waiting. Yeah, they love killing people. Let's take everyone out. Brown bread. Oracle would definitely be first. Yeah, definitely. Look at her. I don't look at Oracle and go, Russian. She, she, her family got chased out of Russia. They got chased out. They, 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 they know. They'll remember you. They'll go in there. You're on like a picture when you walk in. <laughs> Do not serve. Get out. Well, get out. Well, so, get out of here. Sounds more German. No, I don't know what we do a German <laughs> accent. Still. Can't do a Russian accent. Can you do a Russian? Can you do a Russian accent, Oracle? Yeah, she can. Oracle, come here. 
Come on, do the Russian accent. Do the Russian accent. For the podcast. Come on. You've already been kicked out of there. They can't kick you out a second time. Exactly. You don't get cancelled by Russia. And it's not going to sound racist coming from you either because you are Russian, so it's kind of allowed. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> can, you say, can you say the KGB answers for no one? Or waits for no one? Hang on, what is it? The okay. KGB waits for no one. <laughs> The KVG waits for no one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Sounded kind of racist. <laughs> very yeah, stereotypical, that. Very stereotypical <laughs> voice from Big out. O. Although you are Russian. Very stereotypical. Still, can, yeah. you do, can you do a Greek accent? It was a bit Lana, wasn't it? May as well just fucking hit all of them while we're here. I don't even know what a Greek accent sounds like. Lamb. Lamb. <laughs> Would you like some lamb? Would you like the lamb? My name is Hercules. Would you like some lamb? Oh, I know him. <laughs> you know Hercules. I know Hercules, and he's dead now, so... Brown bread. Don't know what he sounds like anymore. No, I'm done. Can't test it out. No, I'm done. Brown bread. What, uh, what other nationalities are you, Oracle? Should we not just do nationality accents from around the world? I feel like accents from around the world is, is not a very good segment for our podcast. Well, I just want to know what the other, other nationality Oracle is. Because it's in the three. Can it be something where we can't... Like, you can do Irish, right? Are you Irish? Oh, I could do Irish. Yeah, you can, you can be a little bit yeah, Irish. Look at me, I'm Oracle. I'm doing the editing. <laughs> Once I've finished, I'll go get back my pot of gold. Would you like a potato? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to frighten you, dear. <laughs> Must look at Yeti in this get-up. Well, dear, I better go. I'm acting like a snow cone in Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got a cream and a sugar now. It's a little cappuccino. You know, mate. <laughs> Calm it down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, who? Little Tito. Uh, that's Irish. It is Irish. You're right. Oh, sorry. That's my Irish accent. Um, what else? Other uh, nationalities are Oracle. <laughs> Italian. I don't have to do an accent. I'll just do this. Because she was a fucking hoa! <laughs> not, not Brooklyn <laughs> Italian. They're Italians. <laughs> and English. 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 Oh. Hey, hello, would you like another cup of tea? Tea and crumpets, mate! Oh, um, would you like... Would you like some of my lady? <laughs> would you like some of my lady? <laughs> I don't so know a what very, people A say. very polite pimp. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, you wouldn't mind taking a piece of my woman, would you? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> British people. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking twat. Fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking polite pricks. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Oh, I think we just shit on ourselves. Oh, whoopsie. No, I'm done. No, I'm done. One up the bum. Boom. So, how, how far in are we, Oracle? Yeah, how far are we What in? segment have we got to do now? Where are we? Well, we're going to watch a match. Watch a match? Which match are we watching? We're going to watch a match from Lakenfest. We were going to watch, oh. we were going to watch Eddie the Lion Ryan. So, yeah, the, the, Engli- the English Knight. Ryan, Eddie Lion. And then I looked at YouTube and it turns out that match is a, a decade. L- it's a long match. Main event, long match, didn't think that through. We ain't got that much time to spend. No. So, uh, you know, if you want to be Although on that podcast... Although that match was supposedly very good. I have not watched match. it back myself yet. Have a shorter match and we'll watch it. Yeah, but it was apparently a very good match. If you do want to go check it out, go check out the SWW YouTube. If and, you want to uh, nominate one of your matches for us to watch ooh, and review, drop a, good, a comment down below. It's a good idea. If you have a match and you're a wrestler and you want us to watch a match, send us over a link... Um, or send over the match to bntw.podcast or message on at Instagram gmail.com. We'll figure it out. Message on Instagram, Facebook, Twits, whatever, whatever it is. you're on. Let us see your match and then we'll watch it live on the podcast and react to it and let us know what you think. Yeah, we'll do that. So whoever's watching, uh, you, um, you do your thing. I'm just trying to stall for time whilst Oracle finds the match. Yeah, she's taking her time. Good thing to do, Oracle, is go on YouTube. Go on YouTube. It's not on YouTube. She's on the Google search at the moment. What's she on Google search? She doesn't know what she's doing. She's losing it. Oh, she's got it here. Oh, it's on the to... Oracle Cam. Here we go. <laughs> we got Oracle Cam this week. Nice knickers. Thank you very much. And leg warmers. I like this gear. 
Do you? Um, you look uncomfortable in it. Who looks uncomfortable? The you Human do. Inferno? The Human Inferno. I don't know who you're talking about because uh, we're just watching two masked wrestlers right now. Who knows who they are? Who, who, what did he even say his name was? Okay, so we're the Disco Infernos. The Disco Infernos. Dangerous Disco something and the Human Inferno. Dangerous Disco Dancer. And then, oh, Oracle, music, music. Cut What's the, the mu- music? Who knows what the music is? We talk loud we enough. Yeah, like, talk oh, that kid, oh, oh children. Oh, what was that child's face? We actually missed our entrance in this. Oracle didn't get the camera up in time because I actually did a cartwheel in my entrance. Jesus. Or the Human Inferno did a cartwheel during his entrance during this. So who's who? I don't know who. I'm so confused now. Uh, I'm not in this match. This kid needs to get, get his head out of the fucking camera. Hey, come on, mate. Smack him in the head, Oracle. Go just on. give him a little dig. Go on, just right in the back of his head. Oh, oh, yeah. I think you did. <laughs> I think you did. I think you did. Oh, do you want to move out the way, mate? Can you fuck off, kid? How long are these guys going to take to come out? It's ridiculous. Oh, here Hush, they come. little baby, don't say a word. Never mind that noise you heard. So, enter Sandman. Enter Sandman. They can't do it if they sing it, right? Enter Sandman. That's not the words. The Sandman Sand is coming. Sandman's coming. Don't sleep too tight. Sleep tonight. The Sandman will come in your eyes. Oh, yeah. So it's J. Joshua. J. Joshua, double J. Double J. J. Double. Chrissy Hotshot Adams. Chrissy. Christy. Christy Adams. Christy Adams making her way to the ring. Could you imagine? She's got alopecia. Alopecia of the brain. And very uh, strong hair growth on her chinny chin chin. I had one of those ones. You can skip this forward a bit, Oracle. This is boring as they're shit. Just, they're just waltzing around the ring. Oh, is he going to get in? Oh, he's got in the ring. So why did they choose the higher side of the ring when they could have just chosen that real low bit? Oh, give him a thumbs down. They just pushed you a little, a little bit. Sh- pushed the human inferno a little bit. You it's never not very nice, the, is it? Never push a man made of fire. Exactly. As Gil tucking in, tucking in his shirt. Got to get burned. Love his boots, though. Gil's boots are fantastic. The GGs. The old double Gs. G double. Got to have a double G. Uh, yeah, I'm all right, mate. Oh, God. Oh, oh that was a mistake. I can feel, I felt it. Every him one. Let's see he that. He may whole, be smiling. That whole bit. But that there just... he goes. He's dancing, dancing. <laughs> oh, Oracle with the bell. Oracle's having to run the bell today. He's like, oi, come here, mate. Come here. <laughs> ding, ding. Oh, oh Jesus. The I flexibility bet. of the dangerous disco. Just ripped. Just ripped his gooch. Oh, he, Chris Adams not looking for a, uh, a dance-off. And here comes the, the man with the split-up taint. The split up taint? What's yeah, that? Yeah, we just did a split and a split his taint out. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. Jesus Christ, that's going to hurt. That man did not go down well. Whoa, look at the height okay, on now, that. For a man with a split taint, he's doing some fucking crazy <laughs> shit. Look at that. So what, he must be in excruciating pain. Oh, slip. Do you know why he slipped? Slip. Do you know why he slip? slipped? Split tape. Split tape. Split tape. <laughs> it's all about the split tape. <laughs> a Gurgan and that, you should be checking on him, really. He should tag out. He should, t- he should tag out and rest up the taint. There he goes. Fix your tape, mate. Fix your taint. There we go. Tag for the taint recovery. Look at him. Look, he wouldn't be doing that if there wasn't a split taint. Oh, you know what's hard? The ring when it hits the back of your head. Yeah. Um, it's a problem when you're wearing just a, a freaking sock over your head. It is. It's a ridiculous mask. Oh, and J. Joshua, he's looking for He's you. very cheeky. It's very cheeky. cheeky, this J. Joshua. Do you know he dislocated both of his knees? What did he do that for? I don't know. He just had a bit of fun. What, on purpose? Not, not on purpose. I don't think he Down the pub. Down the pub. No, oh, wait, lads, look at this. <laughs> God, I think he knew he dislocated his knee then. Yeah, well, who needs knees? And so, you don't jump off the top rope when you've got a split taint. What's he going to do now, eh? Oh, little disco dance. And drops an elbow. He's just, work, he's just working the injury, isn't he? Yeah, he just, you know, that's, he's that's just how he does. opening it up. He's getting a bit of colour. You know what I mean? This uh, disco dancer has been around for a long time. So you'd have got up a lot quicker if you'd have a split taint. 40 years he's been wrestling. Disco dancing. At, um, he exclusively does festival shows. Oh, yeah? There, there has to be music. Oh, there's a blind tag. The blind tag. Was and there he's... a blind tag? I didn't even see it. I know, That's how blind it doing. was. Worse moves than Akeem. Oh, no. Right in the back. Right in the back. The Tell back sack and crack. <laughs> what, did that tickle you? It did tickle you. <laughs> the back sack and crack. 
He's your, he's your Saturday night routine. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get it done, man. Got to be get smooth. It done. Got to get it smooth. That's some definite cheating there. No, it was some definite cheating. I tell you what. Oh, Spinebuster Media. Spinebuster Media. Hardly knew her. Got a little gl- g- glimpse. A little glimpse of... There's Andy. Andy. Hardly knew he. Andy Pandy. Drinking a shandy. Is he? Makes him a bit randy. Oh, Gilligan is a stickler for the rules. Gilligan loves a bit of a rule. Very oh no, sweet. oh no, he's separating the legs. Oh, oh no, the right taint! The, split. the fucking taint! <laughs> oh man. Oh, he's going to be feeling that in the bloody gooch. Maybe we should work the taint more. We should work the taint. I think that's something that people don't work enough. Nobody works a taint anymore. We'll work the taint. I'm going to start working the taint. Let's do it. Starting this Sunday at SWW. This Sunday, Take Trinity Centre. Take me to church. S dub dub for tickets. The boys are working the taint exclusively. Exclusive taint working. Exclusive this Sunday. Exclusive tainting. Let's just start with, let's start calling us Tainted Love, the boys. Uh, they'll be like, here comes the taint. Here comes the taint. <laughs> duh, 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 taint. Taint, 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 taint. Can we make that music? We can try. <laughs> Gillian and Gordon, I don't know what that, can we go, just go back to Gillian Gordon's count there? Because that was, little, a, little it, was like a, it was like a seal count. A little replay, just. It's like a kiss from a rose, seal. Oh, too far, too far. Oh, too, too far. <laughs> We did a flying fish impression <laughs> at the end. Here we go, here we go. One more time, one more time. Oh my God, that's amazing. Oh, fucking ah. hell. Do you know what I did? I was watching, um, I, I got told by Chris Bronson that, because um, I came out to Rhinestone Cowboy in the rumble that was at Lake Fest. the Rhinestone Cowboy. Apparently, when they were waiting in the ring, and he's, he watched it back, and he said it was oddly intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> watching, <laughs> watching my big ass come down the fucking entranceway to Rhinestone Cowboy. <laughs> Maybe we should use that music. I feel like it's, a, it's an intimidation tech. Who owns that music? Can we, can we get um, the rights I don't that? know who sang it. It wasn't me. Oh, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? Oh, he kicked no, him in not. the elbow. I tell you, if they had any sense about him, they'd be working that taint. Yeah, I know. Right? That taint is killing him right now. He's like, thank God they're working the arm. JJ's got some bubble thighs. Oh, yeah? Just like you. No, not like me. Big muscular. He's doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> Gilligan with the, f- the fish count. Go. Cool. Down goes tainted love. You know, that is a extravagant count. It is a very extravagant count from the side. It's actually put him on his side and he'll count the fucking kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got him in corner. Oh, got him in corner. <laughs> got him in corner. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to go for a taint shot. Was that to the taint? It wasn't. It's to the stomach. Oh, but the vibrations. The vibrations the will, will, will shimmy down to the taint region. Gross. Oh, what's he doing here? What's he doing? Oh, going for another gut shot. Gut shot, because he knows that hurts the taint as he well. He knows that ripples down. Oh, he oh, sat him down. It snap made him, him down onto the taint. And then kicked him in the spine, which obviously the sends... ricochets down to the taint. That's stretching the leg. Stretching the legs. Taint stretch. Taint stretch. Instant taint. Going to tap out. Oh, these marks people are upset now. He's lucky he's wearing multicolored uh, tights and that, because otherwise you'd be seeing a lot of red blood a lot seeping of red blood. through the tight region. Everywhere. Is leaking down. Oh, upon. we're getting some sound now. Oh, we've got some sound. I forgot there's even sound. Oracle. Big O coming in late oh, with the sound. Oh, there's a tag made. Another tag made. I tell you, we want to get in there because I tell you what, he's going to fucking. Oh, he's, he's going to pat. Again. He's going to bleed he's out. Taint again. Listen to this one. Watch this. Oh, I tell you what, that, that ricocheted right oh, on through the tape. Jesus Christ, that's painful. Oh, and he's dancing to it. He's dancing. Oh, you he see him dance. He's funny. Look at him mocking the, the dancing brothers. Disco Inferno. Look at this. The Disco Infernos. Shoving him. Oh, a right kicking hand, him. A kick. An head headbutt. Butt. Oh, oh, big boot. A booter. Big Tested boot him. to the chest. Gilligan Gordon. Perfect placement. Tag from in the ring. Who gives a shit? That's what I do. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> Fucking giant babba in it. Giant babba. There he goes. Can he make it? Oh, 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 o
ravaged. And the crowd's chanting, they're going, taint, 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 taint. taint. Here comes the human inferno. Oh, JBL in it. Oh, Stinger. 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 Whoa. Look at that agility. Basically, you know, a luchador. Oh, God. Go for that John Cena. Oh, a big old slap into the back of the stiff. Is, that, is he doing? Oh, oh embarrassing. Miscommunication. Can you believe it? And Jables is down. Oh, 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 break of the neck. That one, that one, uh, uh, not me, but him. Gotta watch out for those. I tell you what. Go for the tag. Oh, those Jay- like, he doesn't want the tag. Are those like circulation socks you're wearing? Who? The green ones. The socks. human inferno. Yeah. See that? JJ didn't want the tag. He didn't want it. Miscommunication. He's like, you punch me in the face. Punch me in the mouth. You. I'm leaving you, mate. I'm done. You, you can, see? You can, yeah, something. Fuck off. Bad language there. Oh, you can't see me. Oh. Oh, you John Cena did. Yes, you add, look at this. Mid air tag. Mid air tag. Did you catch that? I did, did you catch that? And the Trish. Uno, dos, Trish. Can you rewind that? Oh, God, look, how wide, the, look how wide his leg. Do you see him bring his legs back mid-air in? Mid-air tag. Boom. That's how, that's how talented the human inferno is. Because he knows to make a mid-air tag. Boom. You ever seen that before? Impressive. You ever seen that before? I've seen it several times. The human inferno is new. someone that should be places. Places should want the human inferno. Like Royal Imperial the, Wrestling. <laughs> Um, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. It's like you're in a, you're like it's like you're in the crowd in Eight Mile. Oh, oh he, he nearly did a he did a Flynn. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was fun. A little bit of dancing. My mum said this was her favourite match from the whole weekend. Yeah, she said that we should go on the road doing this. You should go on the road doing it. <laughs> she was like, you guys should go on the road doing your dancing mask tag team. And I was like, this is the most ridiculous thing <laughs> that I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> It was fun, though. <laughs> it was fun. I'd do it again. But not anytime soon. Me too. Especially when your partner splits his taint mid-match. I know. Disgusting. No, that gonna, was that. I'm not going to fix it for him. That was that. Did you enjoy that, peeps? Did you, were you talking to me like I'm a peep? No, I'm saying to the people at home. Did you enjoy it, everybody? Did you enjoy watching that? Whatever it was. Comment down below. Comment down below. Comment down below. That was ridiculous. Why did we do that? I keep forgetting which camera you're on. Oh, there we go. Um, so next week, the match we're going to have is hopefully the match from Bristol. Oh. Trinity Centre. Hardly knew her. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it will be a triple threat tag team match. Triple threat tag. If you haven't heard about this. Three way dance. This? I don't know if we've told them about this yet. No. I don't know if they know Should the news. tell them again? Triple threat tag team. Triple threat tag team. This weekend. The boys. The boys. Versus the house. The hoose. Versus Dinger. And Big Jim Die Hard. Dinger and Die Hard. The good old Dinger. You might re- remember Dinger from uh, when he was with us in our first edition of Boys on the Road. Yeah, that wasn't very good. Stage, whatever it was. That was terrible. But we're going to redo it. We need a better it. one. We're going to do a bet. We'll try and get someone this weekend. Yeah, we'll try and get someone this weekend as well. Um, we'll try and get some interesting content. I, 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 I'm, hoping, um, winging it. I'm hoping Rip Valentine might make an appearance. Oh, could you imagine? I mean, Rip Valentine. If you don't know who Rip Valentine is, he You're is out. a... A crack 80s wrestler um, from back in the day. He's done tours in India, Kuwait, um, Canada, Hawaii. Don't take his stick, man. Let him tell it. I'm just telling him what it is. No, he'll tell you. Out. They'll he'll find tell you. Out. He'll tell you himself. They'll find out all about I'd like Rip to give Valentine. people a little bit of a back, back story because they want to know. They're, they're, they'll find I'll give out. you a teaser. A teaser because there's taste. a lot more where that came from. A little bit of a. A lot more. Taste. A lot more where that came from. Oh, yeah. How much more? A lot more. A lot. A lot. There's a lot more where that came a from. A lot more. <sighs> a lot more. I think there's a lot more where that uh, came from. What's that voice? I don't know. You sounded like um, Heather from EastEnders. <laughs> what? I don't know who this character Oracle, is. Oracle, can you, can you Google Heather from EastEnders, please? <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, she's fat. <laughs> but she, talks, she talks like that. What? And does she look like me? Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? Come on, man. You grew your hair out. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> 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 
Tell me that in Buzzsaw with no beard and long you, hair. You, you having a laugh? That is Buzzsaw. Are you right having there. a laugh? You, is he having a laugh? Are you having a laugh? Come on, man. That ain't me. Oracle, <laughs> you need to show this. Oracle, you can turn this off. Oracle agrees. Jesus Christ. Come on, man. No. What's that picture on the far left? Is that her in The Walking Dead? That one there. What is that picture? What's that? It's uh, from something. He- Heather Trot. Yeah, she's on SoundCloud. Well, Heather Trot, if you want to... Uh, no. If you want to follow us on no. SoundCloud, you can. No. We are on SoundCloud. iTunes. We're on Apple. Apple. Podcasts. We're on Spotify. And Spotify. Tubeview. Tube of views. The YouTube. Um, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, that's Buzzsaw no. with no, no beard and long hair. No. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't even know why you say these things. Man. I don't, just don't, know, why you, just I just don't know why you say these My things. My confidence is low <laughs> enough as it is, and then you go and say <laughs> stuff like that. No, I just really want to end it all. No, I'm done. Brown bread. That's what it's like. Talking about brown bread. Oh, is it the walking brown bread segment? Oh, talking about the brown bread. Are we talking brown bread? <laughs> Stab it in the head. No, don't stab me. I'm not really dead. <coughs> I'm joking. I was lying. I was lying to get attention. I'm not really a zombie. I'm <coughs> not really a zombie. No. You can't hit it in the arm to kill it anyway. Why are you doing if that? If I give it dead arms, it can't grab me. Uh, I think it can. It doesn't get dead arms. It nah, yeah, but like... It's always got dead arms. Brown zombie. bread arms. Brown bread arms. All We're right, walking brown bread. Music. It was episode five. Episode five. Five feeling alive. No, no, that's not what it's called. Was it that? No. What was it called? What was, what was episode five called? Oh, here we go. Big O. Prepared five, as always we are. Dead. Here <laughs> we go. It was called like... Um, from Jude. Ashes. From Ashes. It's from Ashes, because I believe. Because it was all about the children of the walking dead. It was like Angela's Ashes. Angela's Ashes. And also from the Ashes, like a phoenix. Also like... Because Rick's dead and he's gone. And these people are gone. And, and then the junior bread. ones and like the little... Little Glenn, they're like coming. I don't up. think that was the reason. It's it's some of it. It's part of it. I don't think it was symbolism. Part, maybe a phoenix rising. It from did the ashes. look like it. It was like um, the Walking Dead kids. Right, it was like, it was like, it was like a cartoon. Edition. Yeah, it was like the junior edition. I thought because it was like you've got like junior you've got Bake Lady off, Rick, kids. you've got Baby Glenn. That's what I'm saying. And then and they're all mates. They all know each other. Um, but I, I don't know the the uh, the guy's the character's name, but I know he's Ross Marquand, the guy with the one hand. Yeah. With um old Atch and old old club and club and that um, thing looks really awkward as well because it got spikes on it. I'm thinking like if you hit a zombie with that, you get stuck in them, mm-hmm. and now you're just stuck to a zombie. That's no bloody good. Exactly. And I hope you're right-handed because otherwise you're you're in a pickle. I know, right? A pick, pick, pickle, pickle. But yeah, um, the episode I th- I quite enjoyed this one. is a bit bit interesting. Is we had we got to, what great we got three different stories in one. And I wish they would stories. do that a bit more often. Yeah, because there's so much going on and we need to focus. Yeah. I, like, I, I don't mind it as a little snippet, but it's easy to follow bite-sized stuff as interesting stuff happens. So Maggie and Negan. Yeah, they got stuff going on. So they got stuff going Walking on. Walking in the Obviously, woods. Obviously, Maggie's uh, got a real hard on about Negan. Oh, she just uh, doesn't Neg- like him. Uh, I was going to say Negan. 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 Um, because he obviously killed Glenn. Um, and Glenzel Washington. Glenzel Washington is brown bread because of Negan. But I would also say, like I've said several times, it was Daryl's fault that he got killed. It was Daryl's fault. If Daryl didn't hit him, Glenn wouldn't have died. Yeah. So I'm so sorry. You blame Daryl. Daryl, it's on you. Does she even have beef with Daryl? No. She's cool with Daryl. She's cool with Daryl. Her and Daryl got like their own handshake and shit. Yeah. And uh, yeah, she doesn't doesn't put any blame on him. No blame. I'd blame Daryl exclusively. Sorry, sorry, Daryl. You may have not have physically swung that bat, but I'm I'm afraid, sir, you swung the bat. Exactly. I'd be like, Yo, Negan, it's cool. Did like, what you had to do. He did what you had to do. You warned us. He, he did warn him. He, he warned him several warn times. Him. He said, he said, you killed a load of few of my guys. Now I'm going to have to kill one of yours. That's what I'm so saying. So we killed Abraham. Fucking mutilated his head. Fair enough. And he's like, fair, in fairness to Negan, he killed one, not all of them. Exactly. Being a good guy. You know. He, you know, he said, get off my lawn, like, several times. He did. They didn't get off his lawn. Yeah, they, he said to keep the, their crap off his lawn. And what did they do? They kicked the flowers. They kicked the flowers. They left a frisbee on there. And left he a dog in, turd there. And he come out swinging. He's like, all right, I'm, right I'm there you go, Negan. then. What do you expect? And, um, yeah, so Negan and Maggie have got their problems. They're waiting for the other guys. To catch up with them. Oh, come on, guys. Obviously, Daryl isn't. They did catch up with them, right, in the end? So, um, so uh, Gabriel. 
Yeah. And the other guy who I don't know is a new guy. They just found them at the house. Um, did so they, they, did they, they? Did they? Did they? Prearrange this, or did they just manage it was pre-arranged, to find? I believe this is like the radio the random tower. house. I believe that's the radio tower. Oh, good lads! So well prepared. Um, so they're all there. Well, four of them are there. A load of other ones are dead, and Daryl's obviously off with the guys. Um, What's the, Daryl doing? The Reapers. I forgot. The Reapers. They're called. Oh yeah, he's reaping, which is also an awesome name. Oh, Reapers. maybe we should take that. The Reapers. We could be the Reapers. The Reapers of destruction. The Reapers of destruction. Um, the Reapers um, of uh, life. Ooh. No. Too much. Yeah. Too much. Too heavy. You went too far. No, I'm done. No, I'm done. Um, and then, and then the we... kids, they're all learning to stab each other. Yeah. Um, so what you what's her kids, name? Obviously. What's the girl's name? Judy. Judith. Judith. Ethel. <laughs> Ethel. <laughs> Ethel. <laughs> Fucking Ethel. It's a great name. Nobody's man. called Ethel, man. Good old Ethel. Um, so hey, <laughs> Ethel. <laughs> hey, Ethel. Um, I don't so, know what the fuck's going on. You goddamn me. God damn it. <laughs> so um, she's obviously teaching all the youngsters how to stab. Good lad. Good lad. <laughs> um, she's fallen out with some curly headed fuck. He definitely fancies her. That's what it is. Maybe. When, when the boy picks on the girl, it's because they fancy him. Maybe. That's what I always got told. Maybe. She also held a knife to his throat. Yeah, well, maybe she fancies him back. Maybe. This is maybe. just how kids flirt. That's how kids do it these days. That is modern day flirting when you live in the Walking Dead world. In brown bread world, that's the way she goes. Push each other over and threaten to slit each other's throats. Exactly. And then Negan, like, what are Negan, you do? Negan and Maggie are going to bang hard. Oh yeah, so hard. <laughs> and then they're going to have a little baby. They're going to have a baby and they're going to call it Glenn just, for, just to rub it in. <laughs> no, they call it Lucille. Lucille. Ooh. <laughs> nice. That's nice. Saying. Nice. I like that one. And then he just uses the baby to smash people's heads. <laughs> just what? <laughs> Wraps the baby's head in barbed wire. Like, <laughs> 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 that would, was it. That'd be a dark twist. That'd be a very dark twist. What's already that's a dark me. show. That's my Negan impression. That's good. I don't even know how you make that noise. No one ever knows. That's a very weird noise, man. You got, you got like some beatboxing skills. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe you haven't got beatboxing skills. <laughs> no, man, you sound like a... No? no. I think I'm a great beatboxer. <laughs> Oracle's my hype man. <laughs> I'm like a... You sound like an asthmatic seal, man. <laughs> Terrible. I need my, I need my buffer. <laughs> 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 and then what happened? The dog's still alive. We don't know what's going on with Daryl. He's off with the Reapers. Eugene is like... Eugene's trying to... They got to, arrested. He got arrested they got whilst arrested. trying to finger that girl. Steph's like, oh, yeah, I know what we can do. Instantly get arrested. Yeah. Instantly. So do you want to take a risk? Sure. All right. <laughs> We've just got here. We've just been let into this, this group. Should we uh, break the law and get, risk getting kicked out immediately? Yeah, let's do that. Do that. So, okay, so Ezekiel, Princess, and... Eugene and Steph all getting in trouble. Um, but then when they were getting marked down, the weird commercial guy rocked up and said, no, these guys are fine. Yeah, they're cool. They're with me. Apparently, there's going to be repercussions Don't worry, they're on the for list. what they've done. But they've got to buy everyone chocolate cake. Exactly. <laughs> and do you know what? They're going to get it free. And do you want to know why? Because of the, she knows the ice cream man. Because she knows the... the what's her face? It's her, it's uh, her brother. What's her name again? British lady. British lawyer woman. What's her name? Um, Cynthia. Cynthia. Let's call her Ethel. Ethel. <laughs> um, so Ethel um, and it found her brother. Let's call what him. That? Let's call him for, for just namesake's purposes. Um, O'Shaughnessy. O'Shaughnessy. Okay. That's his name. So Ethel and O'Shaughnessy are like, having a oh, chat. So you, you like ice cream. I like ice cream. Yeah. And he, having, she, what, she's like, like, I like bacon now. But you're like a surgeon. Shut your fucking mouth. Shut up, mate. You shut your fucking mouth, Ethel. Like ice cream. All right? I'm enjoying... When was the last time you saw me happy, all right? I love making my fucking cakes. Love it. I put a red velvet in there. I'm melting your fucking mouth. So shut the fuck up, So bitch. shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> they did look like good cakes, though. But they did look lie. like good cakes. And hey, they yeah, I got one. some fresh donuts. Best straight out the oven. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And they this sounds like it. a good place to live. It doesn't look a great like place to live. They're geeing it up so that this community, what are they called? 
Um, the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth. They're gee, not like they're bad guys, but from all I've seen, it sounds fucking amazing. It looks amazing from the out from the inside. They got ice cream van that's got horse attached to it. Yeah. They got cakes. Cakes. They got TV. They got society. They have they have a life back. They have pe- people. There's like nothing going like like the um, like O'Shaughnessy said. O'Shaughnessy. Like he said, I forget what's going on on the outside. Don't you remember zomb- what a zombie? How good is that? But if what? you've watched Walking Brown Bread, World Beyond. We beyond. know that the Commonwealth aren't what they seem. Very cheeky people. They are very dangerous human beings. Um, they killed an entire town because it didn't quite meet the requirements anymore. Yeah, so get rid of them. All so, brown bread. You know, uh, go watch Well Beyond if you haven't. It's not amazing. Not but great. I think it'll be good just to just, just to flesh everything out for you. But that bit when they're like they're doing the experiments, man, that that fucked me up. Yeah, because it was post credit as well. I nearly turned it off. Mm-hmm. And like they go to that was the best bit in the whole season. I nearly mm-hmm. skipped it. Mm-hmm. They're just like so. What happens is spoiler alert. You haven't seen it. Skip this. Go watch the show. So they're in this facility, the Commonwealth. That she's like eating a sandwich because that's what people do to show they're desensitized to dead people. They eat sandwiches, and everyone loves a sandwich. Mm, I think it was a, a tongue sandwich. Maybe she's like looking at a zombie just eating like a, a BLT. I think. I think it's like a, it's like a t- I think it was tongue. Tongue. I think it was a TLT. A TLT. So tongue, lettuce, and tomato. That sounds good to me. Maybe a little bit of mustard in there. There was definitely mustard in it. I know that much. And she, she's like, oh, um, another test subject. How they it was doing? a nice sourdough bread as well. Sourdough bread with um, some, some rape seeds on them. Some rape seeds. Some rape seeds. <laughs> you gotta love rape seeds. And these zombies it's... are just like, oh, we're trying to bring zombies back to life. Pow! That's what the Commonwealth is trying to do. The Commonwealth has some underhanded tactics for what they're doing. They are ultimately their 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 goals are pure. I mean, that still sounds like a good they're thing. They're trying as to well. bring, they're trying to cure the zombies. They're trying to cure the zombies, but I don't. At the end of the day, I was like, kind of like, so my sister should be dead for about twenty years now. I think she's she's, she's a bit withered. I think she's over. Yeah, you know, she's got no skin on her face. But some of the ones they no were experimenting on did look like they were super brown bread. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting. Is yeah, how moss far growing how, off them and shit. How how far? But how long do they have to be dead before they can be like reanimated? Ooh, very Will they be the same people when they're reanimated? Will they be able to reanimate them? But then them? this is another thing as well to think about, right? Because when Rick was taken to the Commonwealth... Yeah, in Ellie Chopper. Which he was. We haven't been confirmed yet, but let's face it, he is. When he was taken away, they were asking, is he an A or a B? Now, I don't know what those mean exactly, but I'm wondering if these A or Bs, they killed him off. And they did the experiments on them. No, that's crazy. So I think either one of them meant they get put into society. So Rick becomes like a like a like a like a lawman. Yeah, a lawman. Um, or he becomes a brown bread, and they try and reanimate him. I don't feel like he's just walking around with a job. I feel like if he was walking around with a job, he would have got in touch already. Would, would, would he know they're there yet? Though? Is he is he on the inside? Is he one of these people? Is he in that town? He might be in that town. Because I they believe bump into the him. Commonwealth are quite spread out. Oh, all over are, the place. He might be on like a work assignment somewhere. They've got heli choppers. They can go They've everywhere. They've got helicopters. How do their helicopters work if there's no fuel left? I know. And fuel goes bad. If fuel does go bad, that's why they've got the horses After and all like the cars. After two years. So how have they... So, unless they've found their own power source. Like uh, solar power. Like solar power or oil. Or wind power. Wind. Or maybe the, um, the, the propellers on the helicopter power itself. Cooking oil. Cooking oil. Isn't that like a thing? Like, a, like a, there's like a hybrid of like petrol where it's like cooking oil stuff? Uh, maybe. Or I'm like not going to try it. Kind of like thing. You can put it in your car if you want. I'm not going to put anything in my car. Oh, okay, let's wrap well, it up. Oracle. That was the Walking Brown Bread. Oh, exciting uh, episode. Shit film review. Shit film review. So you watched, uh, I had Abduction House. No. Abduction Hostage House. House. Hostage House, sorry. I keep going Abduction House. I kept doing it. Every time I went to search for it, yeah. I kept putting Abduction House in. I was and like, how no, was it was Hostage. It? Fucking rotten. Terrible film. Fucking rotten. It, it, was a, it was a thriller going half speed. The worst film you've ever seen. It was... The, I, instantly, I, was, I, I knew it was going to be shit because of the music that was playing. Terrible music. The music was real shit, cheap, hallmark, love story music playing, but with a bit of a darker tone. And the acting was just flat and embarrassing. Embarrassing. And just horrible, horrible. Instantly, I knew the security guy was the villain because he had a creepy pedo face. Ugh, gross. Like, he had one of those faces, and I was like, that guy's obviously a part of it. And then he didn't appear, then he appeared towards the end. I was like, yeah. The guy that got himself, <laughs> stupidly, he got himself 
<laughs> impaled by the chin. Which they didn't show, but it's quite clear. It's under his chin. Under he his got chin. impaled on a fence. Yeah, ridiculous. Um, and then just the ending is the acting was terrible. And then the girl who got a baby took away from her. First of all, the baby looked like a varnished loaf of bread. It was clearly not a baby. It was literally like a weird, like tanned head. It looked like the like a, like the the crusty end of a roll. Delicious. And it was like they picked up the baby and it was like, just like a board. <laughs> it, was, it was stiff and then she's going, no! No, the baby! No, I'm sorry! I'm no, sorry! <laughs> that was that film. That was terrible. But um, tell me about He's All That. He's what All That you... was fantastic. Did you like He's I All That? I loved He's All That. <laughs> well, what was your problem with He's All That? I can't believe you voted so that for a bad. shit film club. It was so fucking but bad. I go into these films when, when you know they're bad. And the, like, it's, I like the way this is the one me. film. It was really good. <laughs> it was really good. There was like a car wash scene where they're all in bikinis and stuff. I enjoyed that. Um, there was tits in almost every single shot of the there film. There was a lot of like young people. Young. I mean, they young, were meant to be like 15, 16. 15, 16. Definitely in their mid 20s, though. So I'm okay 100% with that. 100% in their mid 20s. Definitely in their mid 20s. 100% so in their mid 20s. It's fine. But still, it's kind of weird. Like, this is how they betray them. It's like, like all of you, okay, we're going to get you all in underwear. Right. And there's a scene, they're doing like a high school prom thing. And then they would just like start dancing and shit. That was the most embarrassing thing I've ever watched. It was so bad and it awkward. So fun, it was like, I was like it was who so the fun. fuck choreographed this? I was this? like, all right, we'll just chuck this fun bit of dancing into the middle if of the If that is what no like reason. a high school dance like in America, I'm, like, I'm glad I didn't go to school in America. I want to I want to raise my kids in America. Cuz if my kid ever come back and said, "Oh, I so uh, are you looking forward to prom?" He's like, "Yeah, we're doing a dance routine." I'm like, "Get the fuck out." There's a dog There's a barking, dog barking in, the in the distance. In the background. It's very distracting. Um so that's what I thought. Did you have did you have a film for me this week? Um I actually have a different suggestion. What um Hot Shot Chris Adams oh? has suggested a film for what, us to watch. Good lad, what is it? Um, let me just double check to make sure. I thought a good thing to do would be able to just watch a film between us and then we talk about that film between yeah, us. Yeah, I think so. He's recommended, he said, um, he said, oh, look, I've been watching, the, well, listen to the podcast. Um, oh, thank you. Shout you out. You were talking shit films. Hot shout out, Chris Adams. Um, and he said, have you watched The Vanished on Netflix? And I was like, no. I don't think I have. So I said, we'll check out the film. We'll check it out. The Vanished. Um, he said, if not, please watch. Worst acting ever. But watch all the way through. Watch all the way through. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> and we'll talk about it after. So, Chris, thank you very much for your suggestion. Thank you. We're going to get on The Vanished. If anybody we'll else has any week. films that would like we, they'd like us to watch, that is absolutely trash then let please us let us know because we'd love to watch any it. Any matches you want us to watch, let us know. Any matches you want us to watch, you let us know. Any films you want us to watch, let us know. We will watch them. Just comment down below straight away. Don't you fanny about, all right? And like and subscribe. Exactly. Don't forget to do that. Enough. But yeah, that was our reviews of He's All That. Thank Can't you very you much. Liked it. And I watched Hostage House. Um, what would you give He's All That out of 10? A good 8.5. Shit in my mouth. 8.5. That's what I'm serious. <laughs> Go watch this film. I feel like you're ribbing me. Go watch this film. Great I feel film. Like you're ribbing me. It's, Great film. It's terribly acted. It's and amazing. what about the kids using all these really big words? Wasn't that annoying? Yeah, but they're 25, so it's fine. Tw- <laughs> I still don't think they knew what the fuck they meant, because I've never even heard of the word. No, I didn't know what they were saying. talking about. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And there's like no explanation. They don't even explain them what that actually meant. I was like, I don't know what that is. You don't know what that is. Exactly. That's what I liked about but it. But Hostage House, uh, yeah, if you want a really shit film to watch, it's terrible. Was a bad film. It, was, it was like a shitty daytime ho- like thriller. That's the best way I'm going to describe it. It was, it was, yeah, it was, it was going half speed. Yeah, it would be, be on at like one o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. Even though it's meant to be like scary, yeah, like, they're like, "This is so bad, kids aren't even going to like be interested in this." It was just sh- oh shoddy at best. Oracle, spin that shit. But yeah, no, I uh, I need to watch some more shitty films. There's lots, there's lots of uh, there's a new series on uh, Disney Plus. What's that called? Um, I think it's called like Why the Last Man or something, or just The Last Man. The last it's basically man. all the last man. The last man. The last man. There's a load of basically. Everybody with a Y chromosome is brown bread. But there's one man who survived. One man? One man who survived. But don't men have Y chromosomes? Well, I'm assuming he's a hermaphrodite. Oh, there you go. So he's the, both the Y and no the X. No dick. No, he's got a dick and, and a V. A dick and a, a D and a, a V. A D and a V. Two's up. Two's up. Pleasure himself. Ever? Just as a fold. <laughs> as a quick folder. <laughs> a folder? <laughs> just the way. Hmm. I mean, that, hmm. Hmm. And not, you know what noise? Do you know what noise that would make when he folded it round and it goes in? What's that? 